I've said in the music years ago that I see come past today. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and I and I'm a firm believer of speaking things into existence. Same you know, here, brother. I'm a firm believer of, you know, uh, you work and the universe gives back to you. I'm a firm believer in that stuff. You feel me? In the law of attraction, of course, and God as well. But I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction and in um, you know, the way. Damn near anything we could think is real, and if it's not, we could create it. See, that's the gift we were given to evolve, advance, create. I create my own world. I can make any situation reality. Imagine you had everything you wanted, everything. Imagine you were everything you ever wanted to be and capture that feeling. That's the easiest way to manifest what you want. That's all God wants to make us happy. It's the law of attraction I'm always talking about. Shit, look it up. I read a couple books on it, but it changed my life. Even in high school, teachers would always tell me to snap out of it or snap back to reality. But I was in reality. It was real as it could be. It just wasn't there yet. It just wasn't that day. I got the car I was always dreaming about. I bought my mom a crib I always wanted to buy her. I do what I want, get money, whatever. I perform with my heroes, live a crazy ass life. I'm still learning though. I be stressed out. Things don't always go the way I intend them to. Not even half the time, but that's just the mystery of life. You gotta trust, trust in the end result. Trust that it'll always be the best for you at that time. If you want a pair of shoes and they're at the store, they're really at the store. You just don't have it yet. It ain't like that shit don't exist. It's just really at the store. That's how I looked at my whole life. If I want it, if I believe I can have it, then that's my reality. I'll attract it. It'll attract to me. We can make any situation we think about real. Fuck letting life pass you by. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey of making all your dreams and goals reality. Cause the journey makes you who you are. I create my own world. I can make any situation my reality. I'm running, don't look back. You know what I mean? You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta stay in people's face as much as possible. I gotta stay in people's face as much as possible. You know what I mean? So that's the advice I get. Anybody just stay consistent and don't give a fuck. Okay. Yeah, you gotta consistently not give a fuck. You okay. know what I mean? That is hard. And outwork everybody else. Any musician, period, any artist, I think just absolutely do what's in your heart, period. Say what's on your mind, speak what's in your heart and how you really feel. When you're trying to be something else, when you're trying to fit into what's going on, it's like you kind of stray away from your path a little bit. Um, and sometimes you want to ex- expand your style and like grow, and that's always good, but like never veer too far from who you are, you know, as a, as a person. My mother taught me three things, respect, knowledge, search for knowledge. It's an eternal, eternal journey. That's like my hair cut the line, 360 degrees behind knowledge, always. and and she taught me to not be quiet, to, if there's something on my mind, speak it. That's what God, that was the breath. She always taught, but also to listen. And she always, she told me this little joke that God gave you, two ears to listen and one mouth to speak. Two ears and one mouth, common sense. One mouth, you should speak, but you should also listen. And that's where the knowledge comes from, listening. And once you get the knowledge, then you can speak. And it helps you. So she taught me respect, knowledge, and understanding, mostly. You know, just listen up. Hold us accountable for it. I can't explain why I shine and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. 
I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I could go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I can walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character, I'm going to bring that intensity, that truth, that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing from black Jesus, from God, have to pay for that by shining. If he give you the, the voltage and you waste it, that's the curse. If he gave me the voltage, I'm a shine. It's not mine, it's from God, it's God. Not that it's so special that nobody got it, but all of our gifts and blessings and, and our strengths and our weaknesses come from God. They come from black Jesus or whoever comes from within you, you know what I mean? So. It's not really tricky. It's, everybody can do it if they just can go to that spot. I guess all the things that happened to me in my life allow me to go there easily. I did a song called already called Fortune and Fame. Um, and it's like the hook goes, something we all adore. It's the one thing worth dying for. Nothing but pain stuck in this game. Searching for fortune and fame. Something we all adore. The one thing we dying for, nothing but pain, stuck in this game, searching for fortune and fame. That's what I hear. It's, it's, it's so basic that we all want to be famous and noticed and watched. We all want money and riches and we all, we all want the finest out of life from, a, from the most heartless gangbanger to the most uh, virtuous police officer. Why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? I'm just addicted to it. I just, Why? Um, I think that I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can because I've uh, given up a lot of years as far as um, maybe like nurturing like personal relationships go and, um, you know, trying to build things like a, a family or a relationship or a, I don't, I don't like, I don't do any of that. I just kind of work. So with that being said. And how do you feel about that? I'm okay with that now. At this point in my life, I'm okay with that. Um, I think it's a great age to be doing that. You know, I think maybe in 10 years, if I'm still in that mindset, I might have to like come sit back down with you and be like, yeah, we gotta have it. <laughs> this is a different conversation. Darren, what was your strategy? From going from like zero followers on social media to getting to like 900, 6,000 and over, if right. you don't mind sharing. Yeah, it was literally put out as much shit as possible at a high level, like quality and quantity. They always said, oh, you have to pick uh, quality over quantity. I was like, why can't you just do both? Why can't you have high quality and high quantity? And that's kind of what broke the fucking system. That's what did it is that, you know, it, the first song I put out didn't get a million plays in the first day. The second song didn't either. The 50th one didn't either, but on the 98th one, it did. You know what I'm saying? Was it actually so, 98 or are you just kind of spitball numbers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's 98, 99, some shit like that. But, uh, content is key. Just put out a shit ton of shit. It just has to be good. I love getting money. I'm a hustler. Like, I've always enjoyed getting money, but it goes back to, you know, not saying yes to everything. Me doing all these events, getting paid for it, is not worth my health. One idea that, I mean, shout out to everybody who don't need sleep, but I need sleep. Mm -hmm. And people need to know that their body needs to sleep. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't, we're not plugged up to something. We're literally, like, our, our own organ where, you know, you... Like, we need to sleep. Mm -hmm. And I had that mentality for a long time. Like, oh, I don't need sleep. But I was getting, like, two two to three hours of sleep. Um, sometimes not sleeping at all. And I'm like, oh, I'm hustling. I'm grinding. And it's just like, no, boo. You, <laughs> you like, you having nervous breakdowns. You, I literally was about to go onto a set, and I just started crying and hysterically, not even knowing why I was. And it was my body was tired. Mm -hmm. And it's just like people don't realize that. I mean, sometimes it might sound good to say that, but no, you need to sleep. You need to eat healthy. Mm -hmm.
I'm in it for longevity. I'd rather be, you know, um, a marathon runner than a sprinter. Mm. I also made a list of goals that I want to complete for 2018 besides music career. And that shit has really helped me a lot. Like, to just keep on going because I want to complete those goals as fast as I can. So try to make a list of goals that you guys want. It's going to make you want to, like, get up in the morning and get encouraged to just work and get this money.